in this video we are going to discuss about benzidine rearrangement reaction so let us see the substrate first so ben in this benzidine so this is the compound which we have so here one nh double bond n h and again here right so this is the thing we have to this when we add this acidic condition h plus it will undergo some rearrangement reaction so we will get this product see here benzene ring biphenyl right but here i will have nh2 and nh2 this product we will get so this will be the major product we will get so its name is 4 4 dash biphenyl diamine right nh2 groups are there right so this will be my major product along with this product we will get so many products like see we will get product like this because see here one ring is there just you see separate this ring and this ring is there right so here here not it is not the double bond it is single bond here right this is not double bond let me remove that sorry for writing it wrongly so this is single bond here it is right it is not the double bond right so uh, this is the substrate and we'll get this product so this is the major product i have told along with that we'll get minor product let me write it them so here one ring is there second ring so both will uh, they can combine like this also see right so nh2 here and one more nh2 here right so this product we'll get along with that along with that we'll get uh, products like this here also 1 NH2 here and one more attack to here and this NH2 may be here ortho right or sometimes uh, one of the nitrogen remains at the center only for example this product we may get right we may get this product also sometimes we will get uh, products like this also right here instead of ortho position i can make it as para position h2 and few of the oxidized product and few of reduced product right oxidized product means here this is the separate right oxidized product means remove two hydrogen minus two h so i will remove this hydrogen and this hydrogen by making a double bond here so this is my oxidized product which i wrote right so this will be the oxidized product right and the reduced product is just add two more hydrogens right how will you add two, two hydrogens just uh, you break this bond here you add one hydrogen here you add one hydrogen we'll get two molecule of aniline like this we'll get right so this is the reduced product whereas this is oxidized product right let me write it so oxidized product right and it is reduced product but we won't bother about this oxidized product reduced product or these products right we won't bother much as it is in being minor quantity we only bother how we got from this to this right so that we should see so uh, let me write it again no problem so that i will ex explain few more concepts so i had this compound right so my starting molecule will be like this right so here one hydrogen here one hydrogen right to this when we add this acidic compound that is acid we will get this product by phenyl we will get right so this major product we only bother about right so this is the major product we got right so now we have to see whether this reaction happened intermolecular or intramolecular right i hope you are getting inter means between two different molecule the reaction happens right intra means within the molecule within the molecule rearrangement happens here between two different molecule two i forgot to write just that is called as inter intra means within the molecule how it will happen whether it will happen inter or intra to see that uh, they 
came up with crossover experiments right crossover experiments so what they did they took these two compound see here first compound they took this one let me tell you that nh nh and here benzene ring right and here they took this carbon ch3 group and they labeled it isotopic c13 they used right so c13 compound they used so when they did this reaction h plus they got this product what product they will get they will get this product see here so here it will be nh2 and here it will be ch3 which is labeled so let me write it like star and again i'll get this product here it will be nh2 right they took one more compound that is this compound they took right nh nh and here ch3 and here ch3 same reaction they did in presence of acidic solvent they did reaction and they got this product see here major product i am writing i am not bothered about any of the minor products right so i'll get these products nh2 and ch3 right so these two product they got further what they did the scientist they mixed these two they mixed this also and they mixed this also right and they wanted to see whether uh, i will get only these two product or they expected one more product that is one molecule see here let me tell like this so one molecule of this can react with other molecule of this like this so they were expecting this product if this product they got it then they can tell that it is intermolecular here ch3 is there right it is starred means labeled so that side unlabeled i should get nh2 ch3 which is unlabeled right so this is isotopic labeling here they have done here not then if they had got this product then they will tell this reaction is intermolecular because here also one cation anion is generated here also cation anion is generated this cation and this anion reacted and they got this product right they can tell so they can tell it is intermolecular but uh, the scientist what what they saw they didn't get this product since they didn't, didn't get this product they concluded that the reaction is intramolecular if the it if the reaction is intermolecular they used to get this product right if it is intermolecular that is between two molecules but they added these two molecules but this product they didn't get so they concluded that the reaction is intramolecular so it the reaction happens within itself only rearrangement happens so then they came up with the mechanism so they gave this mechanism see here which i am going to write so what they did they wrote like this nh right and here one more nh which is attached to like this benzene ring so in presence of acid what they told excess of acid will be there so one h plus will add here one more h will add here so this nitrogen gets positive charge this nitrogen gets positive charge no doubt right further what happens they will tell this sigma bond is there right between nitrogen nitrogen two heteroatom sigma bond that will break like this so initially one positive charge was there now it became two plus here on this nitrogen and here th this uh, sigma bond broke like this so it became pi bond this pi bond shifted here and this pi bond through this carbon here negative charge is there that negative charge attacked this carbon so this pi bond shifted here right or i can sh I, uh, instead of shifting like this let me just rearrange those pi bonds simply like this so let me rearrange those pi bonds like this right as soon as this negative charge with green marker you see as soon as this negative charge attacked here this pi bond shifted here and this pi bond went here so initially it became two plus now again it became plus right i, I hope you are getting it so this is the mechanism so what happens i'll get structure like this here double bond nh2 plus so like this like this which is attached to one more benzene ring right so it is like this double bond nh2 right so this is how the reaction happened right i hope you got it this this thing right otherwise let me tell it again so that it will be clear to you right let me write it again here so i had to compound like this 
n h and here I had n h like this right so in presence of acid what happens 2 h plus 1 h will add here and this nitrogen will positive charge and one more h will add here this nitrogen with positive charge right so let uh, let me not write this thing circle let me show them by a bond like this right so what happens see further this bond is there right uh, bond between nitrogen nitrogen that will break like this so initially it is having plus uh, plus one charge now it that plus one became two plus let me write like this two plus so this sigma bond broke here so this pi bond went here so this pi bond came here so negative charge is here that negative charge what it did it attacked here so this pi bond shift right this pi bond is shifted here all right so this as soon as it attacks para position should attack i did wrongly so it should attack para position so here it will attack this is the para position right so this to this it is para so this pi bond will shift here this pi bond will shift here initially it, it became 2 plus no now as soon as electron density it will get it become plus 1 right again it will become plus 1 right let me write plus 1 so this is also plus 1 and this is also plus 1 and I got this product right so see here this nitrogen is also plus 1 and this nitrogen is also plus 1 right so again then what happens re-aromatization with the drawing force so here I have one hydrogen and here I have one hydrogen so what what it will do this this uh, sigma bond is there right it will break and this it will go here and this pi bond will shift here and this nitrogen again gets lone pair right so this positive charge is neutralized similarly this sigma bond is there right it will break here and it goes here and this pi bond shifts here and this pi bond breaks and comes on nitrogen and nitrogen becomes neutral right so this is how reaction happens so i'll get here aromatic re-aromatization here re-aromatization is the driving force we will call so here it became an H2 it got its lone pair right and it became aromatic and here also it is aromatic see how nicely the mechanism we understood it and it became neutral so this is how we will get biphenyl right 4444 dash biphenyl diamine we will get so this is how we did the mechanism right but the thing is uh, even still there is so many con uh, controversies are there on this mechanism because two benzene ring coming together which are sterically hindered uh, it makes uh, some uh, things to how it can be possible right but still uh, we will get this mechanism so i have told this mechanism right in next class let us see few more rearrangement reactions